It's um sometime. Hi guys. Can you guess the title of my next video? <laughs> Hurry up. Write your guess in the comment section below. Are preservatives bad for you? I don't know what they are, so they must be good for me. No, wait, I'll explain. Hmm? A preservative is a substance added to foods, cosmetics, medicines, etc. to prevent them from spoiling. Hmm? For example, preservatives like salt and sugar prevent the growth of harmful <laughs> microbes in foods, thus preventing them from spoiling. However, a high amount of salt and sugar can increase the risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, heart diseases, etc. Some food items even have preservatives like benzoic acid to inhibit the growth of harmful microbes. But benzoic acid is said to cause hyperactivity ah. in children, asthma, etc. Sorbic acid, which is used in cosmetics, can cause skin irritation. In people suffering from asthma, preservatives like sulfites can cause very serious problems like difficulty in breathing, tightness in chest, etc. Hence, it is very important to check the preservatives used and have them in moderate amounts. Hmm. Why do we uh -huh. faint? I don't know. All right, I'll explain. Whoa. Our brain keeps us conscious and focused. However, to do so, our brain continuously requires oh. oxygen which is supplied to it through blood. But sometimes when blood flow is reduced to the brain, it does not get sufficient oxygen. As a result, we temporarily lose consciousness and faint. <laughs> the medical term for fainting is syncope. Cool name! Now, the most common causes due to which we oh. faint are shock and stress. In these cases, our heart rate rises and the blood pressure increases. However, eventually, our vagus nerve which emerges from the brain stabilizes us. It signals the heart to slow down and decreases the blood pressure. But sometimes, it malfunctions and drops the heart rate and blood pressure too much, reducing blood circulation to the brain. Oh. Due to lack of oxygen in the brain, we faint. This is called vasovagal syncope. <laughs> Topic, pneumonia. <laughs> what causes pneumonia? I don't know. Pneumonia is a lung infection caused by microorganisms which generally leads to difficulty in breathing. <laughs> Normally, we inhale oxygen-rich air which reaches our alveoli. <laughs> alveoli are surrounded by blood capillaries. Oh. Here, the oxygen through the walls of alveoli diffuses into our blood. However, sometimes we oh. also inhale harmful microorganisms. Mostly, the cilia and mucus in our respiratory tract trap these microorganisms, which are then expelled while coughing. But sometimes the microorganisms don't get trapped and reach the alveoli. There, they start to multiply, oh. causing lung infection. That is, huh? pneumonia. Oh no, now what do we do? Now, to protect ourselves, the immune cells start attacking the microorganisms, causing inflammation and accumulation of fluid in the alveoli. As a result, the inhaled oxygen cannot get easily diffused into blood, thus causing difficulty in breathing. Mm. Topic: Stomata Why do water lilies have stomata on the upper side of their leaves? Whoa, 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 don't immerse that plant completely in water. Oh, jeez. You don't have knowledge about anything. Water lily is an aquatic plant, so I'm keeping it totally underwater. Yes, you are right. It is an aquatic plant, but huh? it is not an underwater plant. Its leaves float on water. Don't lie to me. How can leaves float? Fine, don't listen. Hmm. Look, you spoiled it totally. <laughs> All right, now don't cry. <laughs> to understand why this happened, you need to first learn about stomata. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? On the lower side of the leaves, tiny pores called stomata oh. are present. 
They help the leaves to take in carbon dioxide from the air huh? during the process of photosynthesis. Huh? Oh. So shall I place the plant upside down? <laughs> huh? No. We know that the leaves of water lilies float. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, if the leaves of water lilies would have stomata on their lower side, then they would have oh. been pressed against the water surface. As a result, the stomata would not be able to take in carbon dioxide from air. Mm. Thus, the leaves of water lilies have stomata on their upper side, where they easily get air and usually do not come in contact with water. <laughs> <laughs>